In September of 1985, five Victoria men sat around a kitchen table brainstorming how to help those affected by the AIDS epidemic, which was spreading across North America and had reached Vancouver Island. Well, that day, AIDS Vancouver Island was created, and the agency has been offering support ever since. Here's V. Cooper. By far the most rewarding job I've ever had. Jill Skating approached AIDS Vancouver Island about volunteering, but chance intervened. And they were just posting a new position, temporary position, um, and asked me if I would take it. Um, I, I thought about it and said, yeah, sure. That was seven years ago. People will come in, I'm not hungry, I don't want to eat, and then 10 minutes later, you know what, that smells good. I want, I want something to eat. It feels fabulous. Yeah, I wouldn't be anywhere else. For 28 years, AIDS Vancouver Island has been offering support and prevention information for those infected with or affected by HIV and Hepatitis C. We actually have offices across the island and we work with around 500 people living with HIV, including about 300 here in Victoria. You know, HIV is still a very stigmatized disease and it's really important for people to have a safe place to come, to be with their peers and to get the support and help that they need to just be healthy in their lives. For me, it's a, it's a real highlight as a week to come down here and help these people. Since 2008, Brian Johnson has volunteered once a week, prepping the dining room for about 40 AVI clients. For some, this is their only hot meal of the day. And I think I've developed some nice friendships with some of the people here. I certainly have a tremendous amount of respect for them. They do not have the easiest of lives, a lot of them. It means a lot to Brian to lend a helpful, caring hand. Like many gay people, I lost a lot of good friends to AIDS. It was very rough. So it was time to give back. I came down to AVI and uh, just asked if they could use me, and five years later, here I am. Our volunteers log around 14,000 hours a year. We're really, really fortunate and thankful to the people in the community who help us. It's really important to remember that HIV is no longer a death sentence. Uh, we have really effective treatments, but it's still, it's still a very, very challenging disease. We still lose people to AIDS, and so to have the support of your peers and of, a, of an environment where you're accepted is really critical to your health. Something AIDS Vancouver Island has been doing since 1985. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.